when it's just dry and brittle and cracking and your makeup looks trash. I just, I just don't want to leave you. I just, I just don't want to leave Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl B and I am back with another video. Hey y'all, hey. Um, so today's video is going to be a part two to my last video on um, how to get rid of body acne. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and look at the link up here or up here. I always forget which side it's on. It's just some methods that I use to get rid of my body acne and I think it could be very helpful to a lot of people. So yeah, go ahead. And check that out but today's video is going to be focused around my face um and how i kind of you know got rid of breakouts on my face how i got rid of scarring on my face and actually how i've gotten my skin to move out of the dry skin category and into a combination which for me i enjoy i like it here <laughs> way better than i liked it when i had dry skin um because i feel like you could kind of handle um oily skin a little bit better than when it's just dry and brittle and cracking and your makeup looks trash like that's just <laughs> sorry i went in but that's just my personal opinion um but yeah so this video will be geared towards um just getting better skin now, before I jump into the products that I use, I kind of want to reiterate some of the facts that I made in my previous video, where I think these are three things you should not do when it comes to, you know, your face routine. Um, by all means, I'm not a scientist. I don't know the technicalities and, you know, the science aspect of it, but I just know it worked for me and I'm going to share that with you guys today. So first things first, like I said in my last video, don't buy a lot of products. <laughs> um, and I guess I'll combine this point into one point, but don't buy so many products. You don't need a lot of products to, you know, get clearer skin. And then two, don't buy a lot of products that treat the same area or treat the same problem. So for instance, for me, like I said, I've had dry skin um, pretty much all my life. And what I would do is use a lot of um, heavy based items to kind of, you know, hydrate my skin. So I would go in with a hydrating facial wash, a hydrating um, moisturizer, a hydrating uh, serum, hydrating primer, hydrating foundation, um, setting spray and all this other stuff. So it was a lot of hydration um and it just clogged my pores way too much so yeah stay away from doing that and then the third thing would be like i said um just taking better care of your body overall that includes the things that you put in your body um so for me a big change was when i stopped drinking alcohol stop drinking soda and a lot of juices stop eating candy y'all i love candy sour patch straws trolleys um chips like i love junk food and that caused my face to break out like i'm not even gonna lie to you so once i cut all that out start eating more fruit stop eating out as much um and just taking better care of my skin it definitely made a difference and then also i think everyone knows this don't leave makeup on your face do not go to sleep with makeup on your face um always wash your face no matter how late you get in no matter how tired you are even if it's just like taking a um a makeup remover and wiping your face but if you use the makeup remover like use a couple of them and make sure you get most of it out like if you wipe your face and you still see like a lot of product on the makeup remover wipes keep going um, so yeah, those are the three things that I would say or four things that I would say that you need to just stop doing to get better, clearer, um, hydrated skin. Okay, so let's start with cleaners. Cleaners that I use for my face. Um, like I said, if you have on makeup, you definitely want to remove your makeup before you go to sleep. Um, or before you reapply any other other makeup or anything like that and I find that the most helpful thing that I love for a makeup remover is the Belief Aqua Balm makeup remover 
So yes, this Belief Aqua Balm um, oil remover is so good. It feels it feels like a really good oil. So you only need to take like a little bit, wipe it around your face, and then wipe the makeup off. I promise y'all, I love the way this feels. I didn't refill really on this like three, four times. Uh, a friend of mine got me the trial size, and yeah, I loved it. I loved it. So I start off with the Aqua Balm. A makeup remover and then wipe it off wipe it off um i'll use either a towel um or a paper towel or just rinse it off in the water if i'm in the shower i'll just rinse it off as is and then after that i'll go in with my face cleaner um so i have a few that i use um just at different times so this is the fenty total cleanser um this one i loved i've been using this for maybe like however long when it came out so that's like what two years now I've been using this and I really do love this one I tend to use this when I'm taking off my makeup and I use this more so during like summer um spring summer I don't know why I don't know if it makes a difference <laughs> but yeah I tend to use this one mostly in the summer and mostly when I take off my makeup I just love this one um but I got this with hopes of possibly starting to use it again um as my regular routine um, just to switch it up for me I like to use products but swap them out regularly because I don't know what it is but I feel like after a while products stop working on my skin my body just gets used to it so I feel like it's very important to keep swapping them in and out but not changing it so often that it no longer works on your skin um, but yeah so I'm gonna start using this more um, so again, just to kind of switch up the skin routine. But yeah, I love this. It gives a good lather. It lasts for a while. And then next up is the rice wash from Tasha. I literally just re-upped on this. But this I love. So like I told you guys, I like to use products that kind of strip my body um, when it comes to washing it. And this is a great one. So this is the Tasha rice wash and when i tell y'all i use this on my face my face ends up so clean and just perfect it removes everything and you don't need a lot you just need like a quick little squirt lather 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 and wash it up um and it is so good and i guess because it is the rice wash um that's what really cleans your face it markets itself as a pH neutral cream cleanser that gently purifies while moisturizing. So it does moisturize, but I just feel everything removing from my body. I love this wash. So this is $58, um, but I used a coupon. I can't remember if it was 15% off or 20% off. Um, but yeah, so I got this, and this is like a great size though. I feel like this is a really good size for a facial wash um it's eight ounces compared to the fenty which is 4.9 so you see you see the difference um but yeah i love it so the fenty is 28 dollars yeah and this is a good size it markets itself as a hyper clean soft skin without stripping or drying daily cleanser and makeup remover in one so yeah so those are the three items that I've been using regularly um, to cleanse my face. Like I said, I love them. They are all in rotation, but I kind of stick to one for like maybe a month at a time and then rotate to the next one. Next up, we'll talk about serums. First up, we have the Balancing Toner, Innisfree. Um, this toner I love. I've been using this for like the past two months maybe i've been using this and i love this actually it's a balancing toner with green tea a refreshing watery gel toner that replenishes skin with lightweight hydration from the jeju green jeju green tea i'll wash my face and then i'll put this on it and i'll just let it you know dry into my pores um prior to using this toner i was using the fenty toner um which i did enjoy so the thing is with fenty Remember how I said everything is packaged to be used together? 
that's what I would do. So I would use the Fenty face wash, the Fenty toner, and the Fenty moisturizer. And at that point, I just don't feel like they were all working. Um, it wasn't until I started switching items up. But I did use the Fenty toner with the Tatcha. Oh, I don't have it here. I did use the Fenty toner um, with the Belief Aqua Bomb moisturizer, which I love. But I haven't used that in... A while only because I love the I love the Tasha Dewy skin, um, but I've been using that. But the Aqua Bomb is really good as well. And then serums. So this is a selfless retinol that I put on each night. I got this from Sephora, um, and this was pretty cool. So I put it on here and there. I don't put it on every night. I just put it on when I feel like it. Um, but it does. Yeah, I don't know what it does. But I use it, <laughs> I, that's like horrible to say. I honestly don't know what exactly it targets. Like I know it's good for like tightening the skin and stuff like that. Um, and my skin just feels good after I use it. So the Selfless by Hiram um, Repair Serum, Retinol and Rainbow Algae Serum. I really do like this. And then this here. The Inky List Caffeine Under Eye Cream. I love this. I see such a big difference with this. So under my eyes is less puffy. It's definitely a lot brighter since I've been using this. And I've been using this for maybe um, since last summer. Um, I've been using this. And the thing is I don't use it every day. Um, but I'll use it here and there. Uh, or I'll use it like four times a week. But... I love this i think it works great this is something that i always buy and it's super affordable um i'll include the price on the screen because i really can't remember them all and i don't feel like constantly going back between emails and stuff to look it up but yeah that caffeine under eye cream i truly enjoy so last up we're going to talk about moisturizer for moisturizer i use either the Fenty Skin. So I'll use the Fenty Skin Moisturizer, which I love. It is very hydrating. Um, I love the fact that this is refillable. It does have a scent to it that I didn't realize it had until I stopped using it and then went to go pick it back up, but it's not bad. Um, and then I do like this one because I believe it has SPF. Clearly I don't have none of the information, but I'm pretty sure it has SPF. Um, protection in it so that's another reason why I love it I do tend to use this one also more so in the summertime um, yeah because of that SPF feature but I really do enjoy this it's it's like a good one and it's a good price and it also makes my skin feel good but like I said I can't use this when I use the other fancy products because at that point I don't think it really works on me I'm just putting on too much of the same um, product that targets the same thing but it does feel good on the skin um, I'll pair this with a different serum um, than I would the body I mean the face wash I'll use the same thing because I feel like the face wash really does cleanse my face um, but I just won't go in with the toner I'll end up using um, a different toner but yeah I love this again I've been using this since it came out and then lastly, the Tasha Cosmetics Dewy Cream, which I love. Now, like I said, I don't do too much with everything else when it comes to moisturizing. But this hair, this hair is so freaking bomb. Um, it makes my skin feel so good. I love the fact that it kind of has like the little spoon. So you could like... So it has this like little spoon that you could use to like scoop up the moisturizer. I don't really use it, but it's cool that they have it. Um, yeah, I do like the fact that they have it. This is just like a luxe experience. Tasha, game changer with this. Uh, this moisturizer is $58 and I feel like this is so small. Yeah, I normally get the big one, um, like the, the extra, which is like $60. No, this was $70. So I normally get the bigger one that's like around $85. Um, $85. But it's like bigger. You get more. But it's sold out. Um, so I had to get the regular size one. For $70 was crazy. Actually, let me make sure this was the $70 one. 
So yeah, so this one is $70. And this is the 50 milliliter, right? So I normally don't get this one. The one that I typically get is the Dewy Skin Cream Limited Edition Gratitude Size, which is 75 milliliters and it's $85 so it's like a bigger amount for 15 more dollars and like I said I always get it when there's a promo running so it'll be like 15% off so it's like you're actually paying the $70 but whatever I really needed it and at the time that I ordered it they didn't have any more of the gratitude size so you gotta do what you gotta do but when I tell you this is so good and it's $70 but I get why my skin has been amazing since I've been using this like it's been so hydrating like all over my face has been very hydrating and I just really like I if you don't get nothing else that I recommend in this video get this Tatcha Dewy Cream if you have dry skin it is an absolute game changer and you don't need a lot that's key you only need like a little dish rub it in and wipe your face and you're good to go by the way if you're looking at my face i don't know how it's coming off on camera right now but today i did use the fenty moisturizer because i literally just took this as the box out the box as you've seen but yeah i i literally love this so i'm pretty sure that's everything that i use up to current on my face like i said i like to swap it out just because everything is the same brand i don't think that it all needs to be used together um i think you should mix and match it um based on what your needs are and what they target um so like i said before i'll go in with like a really good moisturizing moisturizer <laughs> I go in with a really good moisturizing moisturizer, but when it comes to like the cleaning of the face, I'll use something that kind of strips everything from my face. And then with the serums and toners and stuff like that, it's all very light. It's not heavy in the skin. So like once I put it in my skin, it feels like it just dries into my skin. Um, and then I'll go in with a really good moisturizer. And that has been working for me. Uh, so yeah. I hope this definitely helps someone out. I think these products are amazing. What I will say is Sephora is that girl. You could get everything from Sephora one stop shop. I am a girl who loves discounts. So what I personally do is I'll go to the actual website. Again, they always tend to have like either a 15% off or a 20% off promotion running. And then on top of that, I'll go to Rakuten and they'll have like 4% cash back, 10% cash back. So that is always a good thing. Now, if you don't want to shop directly from the site, um, because the thing with the site is if you buy something or purchase something that you don't like and you want to take it back, these places don't have stores, um, but Sephora does. But I don't know, I think it's weird to like buy skin products and use them and take them back. That's just me personally. I know sometimes people are unhappy with their purchases and they want to return it, but it's like, meh, you know? And then also, you don't know if something will work after one use. So, I, again, that's just me personally. I just hold on to stuff. But if you do want to return it, then I get why you would want to go to Sephora. If you order it online, I will say that you could also go to Rakuten and Rakuten will have like 6% off, 10% off, 8% off Sephora itself. So yeah, you could definitely shop Sephora as well. Um, but again, if you want that extra 10% off, 15% off regularly and not have to wait for Sephora's, you know, semi-annual sale, go directly to the website. It, it's definitely worth it. And Fenty currently is running a promotion. I think it's like 25% off the entire website. And Tatcha is currently running a 15% off um, coupon. So I'll link both of those promos down below or the websites, whichever, um, for you to use. And also the link to Rakuten so you could get this additional savings because they come in handy. These things are expensive. And to have good products to use on your skin can be very costly. So I am all about savings where they matter so yeah i'll link all of that down below and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um definitely subscribe if you made it to the end of this video leave a comment if you enjoy um you know content like this the next video will probably be about makeup that i use for you know my newly combo skin so if you want to see that go ahead and let that be known down in the comments 
um yeah and just thank you for tuning into today's video and i will catch you all in the next one bye that's all i want to do is